I don't say that BlueStacks is a totally useless piece of software. The BlueStacks app player has over 10 million users all around the world and they cannot be wrong. But there are still many who are not happy with BlueStacks. As you might know, in addition to its usefulness and ease of use and setup, BlueStacks is also notorious for its numerous problems or errors most of BlueStacks users run into. As well as BlueStacks is not available to use for third most used operating system Linux Ubuntu users. If you are not happy with BlueStacks or looking for a BlueStacks alternative for Windows, Mac OS and specially Linux operating systems then Genymotion is the best option you can go for. Genymotion is hailed as one of the best alternatives to BlueStacks app player to play Android games and and run Android apps on a Windows, Mac OS and Linux powered computer and laptop. In today's video, we will be looking into facts to find out is it really worth migrate from BlueStacks to Genymotion or not? If you are one of those who are not happy with BlueStacks, let's begin with system requirements for both PC Android emulators. According to a recent study, Windows XP is still second most used version of Microsoft Windows despite the fact, Microsoft has put Windows XP to rest last year. BlueStacks is available to use for Windows XP in addition to Windows 7, 8, Vista and Windows 10 and even recently released BlueStacks 2 can be used on a Windows XP with Service Pack 3 PC. Though Windows XP users may experience some problems but it is possible to use BlueStacks 2 on Windows XP and Windows Vista. As far as Genymotion is concerned, this PC Android emulator is not available for Windows XP and Windows Vista users. And as well as Genymotion does not support 32-bit Linux computers. It is available for Linux Ubuntu 64 bits and Linux Debian 64 bits. System requirements are same for both Android emulators. Your PC must have 2GB of RAM and graphic card. Genymotion and BlueStacks cannot be installed on Oracle VirtualBox or any other virtualization software. We cannot call Genymotion an easy to download, install and set up. You need minimum an hour for downloading, installing and setting it up. Before you download Genymotion, you must create an account on its official site. I personally don't like this requirement. As well as you must install Oracle VirtualBox on your computer or laptop. Without VirtualBox, you cannot install an Android virtual device. After creating an account and having downloaded and installed Genymotion, now you need to install your desired Android device which is first downloaded and then installed. If you have a slow internet connection then it may take too long to be completed. After having installed a virtual Android device, there are a few tasks you need to carry out yet. Any Android virtual device you install does not come packed with Google Play Store and other Google apps and even you cannot install or use apps using APK files. We have to flash Google Play service and ARM translation to use Google Play Store and other apps. You don't need to have VirtualBox installed on your computer to use BlueStacks. BlueStacks is truly easy to download, install and set up in this regard. You don't need to create an account on BlueStacks.com. After having installed it, you need a Gmail account to download or install apps and games from Google Play Store and other things. You need nothing to install to get started. Everything comes pre-installed in BlueStacks. Although both BlueStacks and Genymotion are free to use for personal use. But while using BlueStacks, I've noticed that BlueStacks force its users to install sponsored apps and games or buy a premium subscription. And on top of that when this notification pops up, you can nothing but go for one of the given options. While using Genymotion, I have not found such notifications so far. BlueStacks boots very fast than Genymotion emulator. While Genymotion takes some time to boot and load all the stuff, there is a pretty useful option in Genymotion that BlueStacks lacks. Genymotion lets you install your favorite Android version and device both smartphone and tablet PC ranging Samsung to HTC, Motorola, LG, Google Nexus. Sony Xperia and others. It would not be wrong to say that Genymotion is a perfect Android emulator for app and game developers for testing purposes. While there is no such option at your disposal in BlueStacks app player.
you can easily transfer files from PC to both emulators, but there is no option to transfer files from emulators to PC. Many Bluestacks users complain that Bluestacks often crashes especially while playing games and users have to restart the system though Jenny motion crashed while my test but it happens rarely I may be wrong but as far as my personal experience is concerned performance wise Jenny motion is better than the Bluestacks app player I hope you can now decide which Android PC emulator is best and suits you to play Android games and run Android apps on Linux Windows and Mac OS. Please do let me know and others if you know anything good or bad about Jenny Motion and Bluestack SAP player using the comment section. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe make PC Android channel.